Hey, all you rollers out there, it's your favorite ace that runs the place, Anthony, and today we're going to be talking about Mean Spirited. Cheesy little intro aside, I was fortunate to get an advanced screener from First Name Films of this movie, and I just want to share some of my thoughts about it. For anybody who knows me or has followed me long enough, I make it pretty clear that I'm a really huge fan of horror and Horror comedies are absolutely my jam. So after I first heard about the premise of this film, especially after recently seeing Deadstream, it really piqued my interest. I'm typically not a huge fan of found footage films, but I'd have to say between this and Deadstream, I'm really starting to warm up to it. Or maybe it could be the sub-sub-genre of making fun of streamers, influencers, and YouTubers. Which, trust me, the irony's not lost on me. And that's pretty much what you're going to get with this film, as it follows the story of the amazing Andy and his channel, Mean Spirited, where he does a whole bunch of just... Well, mean-spirited pranks. And they really do a good job of capturing that feeling of these YouTube, TikTok influencers that do these pranks that just nobody ever really seems to find funny. Or even going as far as saying there's times where it really feels like almost a Logan Paul-esque character, but without the viewership and followers. Which explains his rather large chip on his shoulders to where Andy is trying to get his 15 minutes of fame and try and chase that much larger viewership. He feels neglected and even betrayed by a former best friend who went off to Hollywood to be a famous star known for the role of Thunderman. After years of absolutely no contact, Andy is invited out to Bryce's mansion in the woods to try and reconnect. And rather than be mature about it, he decides he's gonna create some content and expose his best friend for the sellout that he is. Unfortunately, dragging his friends who also happen to be his crew along with him. And let's just say things don't exactly go as planned and he does a lot more than just face his own demons. I don't want to say anything more because I'm afraid I'm going to spoil it and I really think that you all should see it for yourself, but I gotta say I had a lot of fun with this film. Particularly the way that it's filmed, because even though found footage is not necessarily my thing, I really like the way that they were able to blend it all together to where it felt like that kind of mockumentary. You have clips from his channel and just other things that are kind of going on that goes into that whole scope of the whole social media being an influencer and all that other good stuff. I would also recommend staying past the mid credits, otherwise you're gonna miss a fun little part of the film. But see for yourself as it's currently streaming on Prime Video, iTunes, and Xfinity On Demand.